dari Bapak Sirhan Betul, dari nusadeli.com Ada dua pertanyaan Pertanyaan yang pertama, bagaimana strategi perseroan ke depan untuk meningkatkan ekspor Kemudian pertanyaan kedua, apa yang akan dilakukan oleh perseroan untuk recovery di tengah pandemi? Oke, okay, thank you for the question uh, Let me welcome uh, all the stakeholders here today Uh, it certainly says to me that there is a lot of interest in not only Bento, but also the industry in Indonesia. Okay, if I uh, take the first question, what's our strategy in view of the, the future of uh, Indonesia? First of all, uh, it's a huge investment that we've made into Indonesia, over 18 trillion rupiah uh, over the last uh, six, seven years. That investment, we can, will continue to invest in Indonesia because it's vitally important uh, to us, uh, for Indonesia and for the group. In regards to export, um, we've grown export considerably over the last six years. We now export to over 24 countries, and we think that's a unique uh, opportunity, not only for Indonesia to benefit, but also from uh, Bentol BAT at the same time. We will continue to, to invest in export. However, our core business still remains the domestic market of Indonesia, and we'll continue to invest in our brand portfolio of combustible cigarettes, while also benefiting from more export growth uh, in the future. Yes, thank you. Okay, so the first thing is first. As you know, VAT is a big company uh, worldwide, yes? Um, at the same time, Indonesia is still one of the biggest markets in the world, so we would be pretty foolish to walk away from the amount of investment we've put in to Indonesia already, and we are still highly committed to, uh, to growing our business. But we also need to be realistic because we are still only a four and a half share company. We may be big outside, but in Indonesia, we're still a very small company. And, uh, but at the same time, like other companies that have an international partnership, um, even our competitors, uh, where there are some very small competitors as well, are still committed to investment in Indonesia. That's definitely going to be the case, uh, certainly in the, in the near and in the midterm. Yes, I think. Any, any, any jobs or any demanding or any blueprint that can be adopted in the next few years? Yeah. Apakah ada strateginya gitu ya? Oh, oke. Okay. The, the, the strategy is still to continue to invest in growing the, our share of the combustible market. So, certainly our share is suboptimal at the moment, and we'll continue to invest for, for greater share growth. Obviously, with greater share growth comes with the, the potential for you to grow only your revenues and your profit in the longer term. And we think um, through good governance of uh, the industry, through the right excise regimes, the commercial viability of the market will always remain very attractive for companies like ourselves and others to invest in. So the commitment is certainly there. I think COVID 
Uh, you asked the question around COVID and whether that's having an impact. Yes, that's having an impact. Um, but I think hand in hand, the, the way in which we're governing the regulation across the industry is probably having an even bigger effect at this point in time. So when you look at excise growing at three times the inflation rate uh, this year, the impact of that has only been more negative as a result of COVID on top of that. Yeah? So I think we need to get, you know, the government has a right to, to regulate the industry as it sees fit. And I think they will be learning from the experience in the first half of this year and hopefully sensible regulation will prevail to allow us to fight. Oke, okay, uh, jadi uh, Pak Tif tadi mengatakan bahwa British American Tobacco itu kan perusahaan besar Di Indonesia memang kami kecil, share-nya hanya 4,5% ya, Tetapi uh, komitmen dari BHT Group itu tetap uh, tinggi untuk berinvestasi di Indonesia Mengapa? Karena market Indonesia juga besar ya, Dan kami juga telah berinvestasi sekian banyaknya, 18,3 triliun di Indonesia sehingga kalau kami walk away dari investasi di Indonesia itu sesuatu yang tidak 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 smart ya jadi oleh karena itu kalau kita bicara komitmen komitmen BRT Group tetap tinggi dan kalau ditanya mengenai strategi blueprint dan sebagainya kami tentunya paling utama bagi kami adalah adanya peraturan ya good corporate good corporate governance peraturan terkait excise yang sifatnya apa ya yang 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 bisa yang bisa bisa diprediksi gitu ya karena saat ini kan government belum ada yang namanya rencana kedepannya lima tahun seperti apa ya jadi, ya, jadi terkait dengan policy exercise ya jadi kalau kalau misalnya kita sudah memiliki policy exercise yang jelas maka tentunya akan dapat lebih membantu perusahaan seperti BAT untuk melakukan rencana-rencana yang jelas gitu kedepannya akan seperti apa tapi meskipun saat ini belum ada, ya belum ada policy exercise yang, yang jelas misalnya untuk lima tahun ke depan, kita kan setelah ini juga tahu bahwa setiap tahun ada 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 PMK yang baru keluar ya. Jadi tidak ada kayak roadmap lima tahun gitu kan belum ada ya, belum ada. Nah, jadi jadi ya kami tetap despite semuanya itu yang masih belum belum apa namanya belum pasti, tapi kami tetap berkomitmen tinggi ya untuk terus melanjutkan investasi di sini dan untuk tetap tumbuh di sini. Kemudian terkait COVID-19 tadi pertanyaannya tentunya terimpak kepada kami juga ya COVID-19 tentunya terimpak pada faktor kepada penjualan kami juga ya ini seperti apa mungkin